let's draw a sailboat. Start off by covering a spare piece of paper with graphite. We're going to use this and a cloth to draw with. This is the photo we're going to be drawing. We don't want to lose the horizon, so to make things easy, we'll just mask it off with masking tape. Now rub a cloth over the graphite paper and then onto your drawing to draw the clouds. As our reference photo has no clouds, I'm using another photo to reference from. I'll draw these clouds using a circular motion, rubbing the shadows of the clouds onto the paper. And then I'll use a kneaded eraser to lift out the highlights. What I'm trying to do is create the gradual shadings formed by the clouds. To ensure I don't lose the shape of the boat, I use an eraser to keep the edges of the sails defined. The clouds give us the contrast we need for the white sails to be visible, so don't be shy with the contrast that you're adding to the clouds. Now we can move on to the sails. Each sail has a different shading because of its shape, so you need to carefully look at how the light reflects off of each sail. This one here is round, so it has a gradual shading. The one behind it is also round, so we'll also get that gradual shading. This time, however, the first sail is casting a shadow on it, so the tonal values of the shadings on this one are different. To draw these tonal values and the shadings correctly, vary the pressure you're applying to the pencil, as well as using harder and softer pencils. This cell is full of creases, so suggest those creases by creating a series of contrasting lines using the eraser and the pencil. Look very carefully at the direction of these lines though, as they follow the shape of the sail. So if you don't get those directions right, the shape of the sail is going to look wrong. Do the same with all the other sails. Now we can start to add the detail to the sails. For this, we use a very sharp pencil or a mechanical pencil to add all the rigging and suggest the stitching work on each sail. To ensure you draw the mast accurately, use a ruler to draw the outside edges of the mast and then color in the insides. To then make that mast look round, just darken the right hand side because our sun is coming from the left to the right. Now we can carefully remove the masking tape in order to paint the water. There's a dark edge to the horizon, so I lay my ruler down on the horizon and then use a pencil to establish that dark edge. And that's where I managed to keep the horizon line straight. Now use your cloth and the graphite paper to lay down a basic tonal value on the water. This will allow us to erase the ripples on the water using the kneaded eraser. To show perspective, make the ripples in the distance short and close to each other, and the nearby ripples gradually larger but further apart. The reflections from the boat are broken vertical lines, so put in the dark vertical lines using the cloth first, and then squiggle out the lighter reflections, and that will give you that broken vertical line effect. I've also used a pencil to squiggle a few extra darker contrasting lines in here and there, just to complete the effect. Now let's shade in the shape of the boat and use a dark pencil to suggest the people and the detail on the boat. But don't draw fine detail here, just suggest basic shapes, that's good enough. Then we can add a few birds in the sky, as well as a suggestion of land in the distance to complete the drawing. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a comment below and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.